Borderlands has always been the weirdest shooter. It was never really the greatest game. By no means do I consider these games to be masterpieces, but the game excelled at one thing very, very well and that was style. Their look, their characters, and their humor, all a big part of why their games to this day have a big following. Borderlands came out during one of the best years for gaming. Batman Arkham Asylum, Halo ODST, Left 4 Dead 2, Assassin's Creed 2, and Minecraft all came out this same year. Nobody heard of this game before and people craving shooters had Modern Warfare 2 this year or Halo to continue playing, so why play Borderlands? Well, the commercials knew that us kids liked one thing guns and this game promised us an endless supply so little macro played this game at first co-op with his brother but uh he got a little bit busy so eventually i was just playing the game alone and i liked it and i beat it and i kind of just moved on that's because the first game is a bit forgettable but i can't deny that the game's charm and style was an overall fun experience i mean that first intro basically made us all cage the elephant fans and it low-key inspired my intros but the game was lacking with no story and mediocre game play there wasn't really enough for me to keep playing it more than once and we all just kind of forgot about borderlands it's stuck in that pile of xbox 360 games that you've played once but you're not gonna play again you know we all have that pile until three years later when borderlands 2 came out and it fixed all the problems the game felt great the guns were even more creative and there was not only a plot but a compelling one with one of video games greatest villains handsome Jack. He was maniacal but relatable, charming but clearly an antagonist that you love to hate. It's something that you honestly don't see in video games that much. Most video game villains are pretty two-dimensional, they're either good versus evil, like Bowser or Ganondorf, but this guy genuinely had some character development behind him. The game was still incredibly funny. You met my girl Lainey, she perfect man, blonde, a great body, distantly related to me. You're not a sandwich, I got nothing to say to you. Believe. I finally find a way off this jack forsaken planet! Take me! Freaking take me! But it had serious and sad moments that were completely earned. She's dead. Jack just lost his only way to awaken the warrior. We got the vault key, but this isn't over yet. We gotta find Jack and take him out. Lilith, take the vault key to Tennis. I'm going after Jack. <laughs> The game felt bigger and better, all while holding on to their signature style. Shoot me in the face! In the face! Do it! Shoot me in the face! Damn! Thank you! But in between 2 and 3, we got a couple games to fill our Borderlands thirst, both of which add a lot to the story. The pre-sequel, which helped us understand Handsome Jack before he became an evil villain, and the Telltale game, Tales from the Borderlands, which is one of my personal favorite games in general. This game was such a perfect addition. The best part of Borderlands has been the art, the characters, and the humor, and since the gameplay is completely streamlined, that's the bulk of what you get, and it's amazing. <laughs> We get brand new characters interacting with the world we've grown to love. And if you haven't played this game, you should. It's super underrated in my opinion. I mean, this is actual gameplay at one point. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Shoot, 
Hilarious. Fast forward to present day, Borderlands 3 is out. If you're like me and enjoy Borderlands, it's great, but I feel like it's just number two, but a little bit shinier. Not a bad thing, but I would greatly recommend playing number two first. It's pretty cheap right now, and if you like it, then get number three. Okay, let me briefly talk about Borderlands 3. Gearbox definitely amped up the humor. I literally laughed out loud a couple times. It's still so funny. Last chance on that mixtape, by the way. Still no? Word. They even brought back a lot of the Tails characters, which is a huge plus for me. You hear that, Tyrene? Now worship at the altar of my abs, for my name is Vaughn! Sadly, that means that Scooter canonically died. He would get an F in the chat for Scooter. Hit a ride! At the time of recording this video, I am halfway through the game, and I can honestly say that this game isn't going to impress any non-fans. But as a fan of Borderlands, you'll be pretty satisfied. But that's kind of my point. Borderlands is such a weird game. It's not the greatest, but it's definitely got one thing over its competitors, and that's its signature style. A style that some of you may not like at all, and that's okay. You don't have to, but I do. I mean, what other game can you go out and kill Rick and Morty? Like what? I love Borderlands. And maybe if you haven't tried it before, you can love it too. I really don't know where this video was going to go. I just kind of want to reflect on the times that I spent with Borderlands. You have to be in the right mindset while playing it. You can't be talking over it the whole time. You can't be half listening and stuff. Because if you do, you're not getting most of the fun out of it. I have a buddy of mine that sped run through the game and beat it like within a couple days. And he was just like, eh, it was whatever. And I asked him, did you even listen to the dialogue? It's pretty funny. And he's like, nah, I just kind of skimmed through it. Just kind of want to beat the game as quickly as possible. And that's kind of not the point. I guess the point I'm trying to make is, is that when you try Borderlands, really give it a full try. Try. Sure, you could just speed run through it, but I feel like a lot of the charm will be lost. But what do you guys think? Do you guys love Borderlands like I do, or do you hate it? Do you think it's an overrated game series? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I'm gonna go beat Borderlands 3 in its entirety and give you guys a full opinion about it when I'm done. I'll catch you later.